Hey everybody, uh, welcome back. Uh, no, I'm not the Unabomber. <laughs> it's just cold out. Um, anyway, uh, let's uh, do another update. Um, I've made some radical new progress on uh, the interior um, and also um, back to 3D printing. We're doing the thresholds for the doors. We'll soon be doing the latches for the doors. And I'll show you some cool parts I've picked up for a very reasonable price. So stay tuned. So let's start right here. Um, we've been working on the dash. We're uh, trying to get the structure of the dash all finished up. So we've been doing that in steel and we've Frenched in the, uh, the ducts, the air ducts that are going in there. Um, we're gonna start uh, working on getting that console uh, fitted in there. So it's a little tight right now. So we've gotta do some more work there. Um, we may have to replace the upper piece, but that's okay. It's just a piece of uh, melamine uh, slash MDF. So that's pretty easy to, to reproduce. And then down here, we've been working on the threshold. Um, so we've obviously got our leather piece right here that kind of defines the shape. And then we've just been manipulating some metal uh, in order to get the door jam area such that we can get it to seal uh, when the doors are closed. So that's, uh, that's what we're doing here on the inside of the car. Uh, let's go check out some uh, some new parts. So we uh, got our uh, dashes uh, in. These are actually little CAN bus uh, dashes that I got from Banks. So we'll hook those into the main holly harness and they should be able to display whatever we want. Uh, probably temperatures, oil pressure, stuff like that. And then in the main, uh, we have the holly digital dash, which we should be able to make look very close to what you would see in an Aventador. It's not going to be perfect, but hey, you know, it's better than spending four grand on a digital dash that uh, I don't know how to talk to. <laughs> I know there's a lot of uh, aftermarket stuff out there uh, people are doing. Uh, that's great. Uh, for me, this is actually going to work because I will understand the communication protocol pretty well. Anyway, uh, always room for improvement. So we got some new parts and those new parts happen to be one of these guys. Um, yeah, that's a side mirror in all its glory. Um, it's got all the mounting bracketry, all the motors, uh, heater, uh, hookups, everything. <laughs> so I picked this up uh, for uh, quite a bit uh, less than you would normally. These are usually around a grand or more. Um, I got this uh, on eBay for a really, really good price. Um, in addition, we were able to pick up a, some right hand um, uh, cowlings. So we got that and we got uh, this guy right here. So these are actually the, the plastic pieces. Uh, that you see on here. Uh, this one's actually painted. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to disassemble this one, uh, find all of the parts that are in there, and then hopefully we'll either machine or 3D print the structure that we'll need inside of one of these mirrors. And then that way we can figure out how we're going to mount them to the doors. So Yay! This was a thing that was bugging me. I was uh, trying to 3D print them. I could never get them just right. Um, so now we're good to go. So we've also been working on uh, getting a console uh, ready to go. So we are going to 3D print this, um, probably at ABS, and then we can uh, cover it in leather. Um, so got a good model for this. So I've modeled it up in SolidWorks. This is actually only half of it. I only do halves in SolidWorks so that I can just mirror it. And then therefore I can get a perfect uh, replica on the other side. So um, this is uh, what we're going to do. And so um, we're going to uh, start printing this. Um, I have somebody 
uh, who contacted me, who's going to help me with uh, some printing. Uh, his name is Kyle. Uh, thank you again, Kyle, for helping with some of the printing. So that's uh, kind of where we're at at this point. Well, so that's kind of it. Uh, short update. Um, we're going to keep cranking along. Uh, a lot of the steel work, um, sheet metal work, has uh, taken quite a bit of time for the last week and a half or so. Uh, I don't have the best of tools. <laughs> like I said, I have this crappy uh, Harbor Freight uh, old uh, brake that doesn't really bend very well. Um, and some hammers in my knee. So, <laughs> so it does take a little bit of time. Um, anyway, uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and uh, leave me some comments. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, we always love constructive criticism, so keep them coming. Um, we'll see you next time.